Number 13 from paper 1 of the 2018 Higher Maths Exact Value Trig Question. 7 marks here. You're told that sine of x is 2 upon root 11. You have to find the exact value of sine of 2x. And just in case you weren't sure how to go about it, it started off with a little triangle showing you sine of x. Well, then just fill in the remaining part. 4 from 11 is 7, so that side must be root 7. Then you look up the front and you see 2 sine x cos x. And you pop it all in. Sine of x, 2 over root 11. Cos of x, root 7 over root 11. Which means you've got 2 times 2 is 4 root 7 on top. And root 11 times root 11 reconstitutes the 11. And there's the first part. Then it wants... The cos of 2x, well you could draw the triangle for sine 2x, the 2x triangle rather, but as well just going in with another formula. You could also say the square root of 1 minus the sine squared, but you're probably just as well as just going back to scratch and saying, well cos 2x can be 2 times cos squared x minus 1. So 2 times, and the cos of x was root 7 over root 11, very handy for squaring, minus 1. So that's 2 times 7 upon 11 minus 1. 14 elevenths take away 11 elevenths is 3 elevenths. Or whichever one you wanted. Cos squared minus sine squared. 1 minus 2 sine squared. Or even the square root of 1 minus sine 2x all squared. In part B, by expressing sine 3x, again, I didn't need to tell you that. You have to find the exact value of sine 3x. Well, you would just break it into sine 2x plus x. And then expand that. So that will be, just looking up the front, sine 2x cos x, I know those parts, plus cos 2x sine x, I know those parts. They're all floating about here, so you just put them in. Sine 2x was this, 4 root 7 over 11. Cos x was root 7 over root 11. Cos 2x was 3 elevenths. And sine x was, to begin with, 2 over root 11. Well, they're all over 11 root 11. First part would be 4, and that reconstitutes the 7. 4 times 7, so that would be 28. 3 times 2, that's 6. So that gives you 34 over 11 root 11. But do they want it that way? I don't know. Do they want you to rationalise that denominator? Multiply the top and bottom by root 11. Because then if you did that, it would be 34 root 11 on top. And 11 11s are 121 underneath. I feel they'll probably just let you settle with that one though.